The cycle 10 is the father of every numerical cycle. When his entire creation is worth 7, this happens because his occupied place is of three units of those ten units referred to his cycle. We must understand what these three dimensions represent, thus contained in the ten units of the cycle. We know that they are different aspects, component shapes, as those that are named Cartesian axis, where the volume is all the space. The three components that form it are only characteristic shapes completely different from the others. In fact, an infinite line is only one point of its normal uh, perpendicular line. So that this uh, perpendicular line cannot represent the infinite in all the normal direction of the space. God is as the infinite in every direction, but this infinite accepts to be described in the definite space only by three component directions perpendicular each other. So, while the unit of God is like the time which occupies only one line and only one direction, the God's Trinity exists because of, her, because of two perpendicular direction. It is possible to configure an infinite geometrical plane of the presence and the time of the unit, but this plane can occupy only one point of the infinite time of the universe. Therefore, the infinite God expanded like an infinite universe in the definite field can be represented only by three directions. Two components are defined in the time, and the third is not defined, and so it is infinite one. In this way we are observing that one only instant of the God's representation that the God as shown to ourselves and that we name as the present time. The space that we have far away in this infinite plane is respecting the ratio 3 every one that exists between the space of the volume and the time in general. And so also in this plane that is represented in one only moment of the presence, which is perceived by each observer of the physics. In this representative system, the poor spirit of each single observer is the only and true arbiter. The ratio 3 every 1 is the general rule of this general representation. This representation is made by electromagnetism and so 
the ratio 3 every 1 is the light speed which is ordering all the simultaneous presence that each observer is perceiving in it it is a velocity that is absolute since everything that is contained in the general plane of our observation is already present no other velocity can be faster in way that we perceive for example the sun that is shining in this moment and not that what is shining eight minutes before if we desire to perceive the sun that is shining now we ought make faster the velocity of the light it ought be faster faster over three every one that is perceived that the atomic dimensions 10 rise to 10 that referring to the 10 rise to 3 of the volume of the unitary volume moves only 10 rise to 7 in every time 1 and so the area of 10 multiplied 10 run only over 10 rising to 8 and so at the atomic dimension the ratio 3 on 1 exists at the dimension 10 rise to 8 but God is the ratio 3 to 1 in the ratio between his trinity and his unity since God is the fundament of everything exists say fundament it means say the general rules and it means say God if you ask me why we cannot make the light faster by accelerating I can respond saying that we are existing commanded by this velocity in our same life we are this ratio 3 everyone in our same to be in our to exist three everyone is the existence now of the unitary volume having three perpendicular sides this ratio is one to one where the denominator one is made by the three components of the volume we are living in this one volume identified by three perpendicular lines in the time one of the denominator one our life occupies the unit of the volume in the time one if the time one is that which identifies the present volume we can exist only in the place in which we are we cannot occupy more than two points of presence when we occupy two points we perceive one to one like a speed since it is a space time we exist in this space time as a velocity but that is absolute one since one is considered as space in line 
and the other as time in line. When we are stopped in one point of space, one to one, we are advancing only in the time. If we occupy two points of the space, we exist in an area. When we occupy three points, we are in movement in the plane of the presence. We cannot have the speed four to one, implicating the simultaneous occupation of two different surfaces, two different areas, in the same one only moment that is in the denominator of the ratio for everyone. We cannot, because of God exists as the same absolute rules that govern our life. We exist in our fundament as the God absolute, who, because the impossibility to be determined by things as the power and the powerlessness makes existent both the opposites. Therefore, the enmity God in only a part of the unity of God because of the simultaneous presence of the opposite and the complementary part to the absolute. Only if the absolute is determined simultaneously not only as one and existent in power, but also as existent in differentiated action, only in this case the God absolute remains as the God absolute, faithful to himself. Because are present the opposites. This implicates three ideal instruments and they are the numbers. Each number is the ideal instrument to define everything exists in real things or imaginary ones. In fact, it refers only to the quantity and not to the quality of the possible existing things. God too can be expressed through the ideal instrument of the number. In fact, one is an idea. In a lot of existing things in a room, you can understand and can count a chair, a table, a lamp, through the aggregation in unity of these single object. Are you that are understanding that a chair has that limit? Number one is a judgment which as such belongs to our soul. In this way the analysis made through the numbers as a true possibility to represent even the absolute latching of real conditions. This number is obliged to have one only father and starting from the idea of one volume represented by three lines components interactive, the absolute defines two opposites, three divided by three and three multiplied by three. Both exist. And so the line 
and the, the surface are in a relative opposition that gets the volume through multiplication between the flows line and the flows section. The perpendicularity between line and section assumes the real representation of the opposition between two exact inversions of the procedure like 3 divided by 3 and 3 multiplied by 3 since the procedure of the division is exactly opposite to that of the multiplication. The simultaneous existence of the division by 3 and of the multiplication by 3 in verity does not change the 3 but presents in two opposed differentiation like the line of the flow and its section. In fact, we have always a 3 and 3, a 6, when we have 3 and 3, a complex of Trinity, two fathers. But uh, if we consider them through the division, it seems that the six have become one. But uh, it is not so. Uh, they are six. The six put three on three appear to have become one. We can correct this misunderstanding only by making the opposite mistake. And the opposite mistake is the idea that 3 multiplied by 3 become 9. The sum of the two different mistakes 1 and 9 is the truth of the, of the 10. Therefore, 10 is the father of every number as the god of justice. And it is true one, the number 10, simply by putting in action is 10 shows his power as real mathematical powers based on the number 10. Therefore, God, using his 10 of justice, enters in action with 10 raised to 0, 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, every number, n. With this difference, 10 raised to 0 is the full unit. 10 raised to 1 is uh, the line 10. 10 raised to 2 is the surface uh, 100. 10 raised to 3 is the volume uh, 1000. 10 raised to 4 is the volume 1000 in the 10 cycle of the presence. It represents the reality of the full space-time. The dimensions are the exponents of the power having the 10 base, of the fundament of every justice that is of God. The Lord of the justice is number 10. When we have 10 rise to 10, we have the greatest power in a only line. Now, considering 10 rise to 10, 
the absolute power of the absolute God, if we divide these 10 raised to 10 by the volume of 10 raised to 3, the result is 10 raised to 7 in absolute. 10 raised to 7 is all the possible action of the trinity power of 10 raised to 3. Now, we were put by God in condition, as he said in the Biblia, to oppose ourselves to the power of God. In few words, it means that we can perceive using the, mathemati the mathematical instrument of the decimal logarithm. It is the reaction to the action of the ten base of God. It is a reaction that has the ability to cut away the ten base and to value only the created exponent numbers that by reaction appear simple numbers that were not determined by the ten base but are counted in tens. In conclusion, when the genesis of the Biblia is, in it is written that God created the world in seven days, he presented 10 rise to 7 like the simple 7 that appears by reaction to the action of God. Now we have to understand why the Biblia introduced the difference between 7 days in total and only the 6 days of the real work. Where God is the ratio 3 every 1 between the Trinity and the, the Unity, all the numbers are 3 plus 1, and so they are equal to 4 units presented in the velocity of the presence of the space-time expressed through the ratio between the volume and the time. Therefore, 10 rise to 4 is the absolute work of God 1 and 3. And in the absolute of 10 rise to the same 10 in line, the movement is the work. 10 rise to 10 divided by 10 rise to 1 plus 3 rise to 4 gets the result of only 10 rise to the 6 days of the only work. Cutting away the God in form, since not in substance, because afterward the number are counted always in tens. The Bible says that God works for six days. Since the Bible says that God works for six days, and having we understood now that he is operating through the base 10 of his power, the Bible affirms that 10 rise to 6 was his real work. The Sabbath, which was affirmed the day of the rest of God, is the one that is the time. And 
it is of God because every presence exists only in its absolute essence implicating time Now, among the three faiths that are born from Abraham, the Jewish, the Christian, and that of the Islam, only the Christian faith is in line with our reasoning. The contribution of Jesus was really in line with the absolute truth when we spoke about a God having unity and a trinity. Only a God having unity and trinity works only say days in the ten days of God of justice but in front to three divide three and three multiply three two opposite transformation of the Trinity and the volume in its representation. Only a God to whom belongs the Trinity of the volume runs as 10 less 3. The Bible has affirmed that 10 are the commandments of Yahweh. The same Biblia has affirmed that the part of God, of the grandson, of the religious man, had to be the tenth, an order ten, which wants the tenth acts in this way, because of ten tens are the unit of God. This is the Trinity of God. Three absolute numbers. Absolute as God. And they are 10 rise to 0. 10 rise to plus 1. And 10 rise to minus 1. They are absolute. The Jewish faith and that of Islam, because of their insistent affirmation only of the unity of God and not of his trinity, are bypassed in truth by the faith of Jesus. But as we are saying and as we are seeing in the Bible, there is already the truth of Jesus, of the Trinity and the unity of God, which is the cause that differentiates the six days of real work derived by four and ten, and the six plus one, the Sabbath of God's rest, so that it is a seven, which is derived by three in ten. And it is clear, clear, clear one. 